There are some things about Boris I'll never understand. The way his pride was the most important thing to him and how he would never let anyone disrespect him or his friends. I'll never forget how he could smile and light up a whole room and would do just about anything to get a laugh. He had something special about him, something that made him one of a kind, and no one could take that away. He had a way of bringing friends together, and even when he's mad, you would never see him frown. Above all, I'll remember him as the free spirit that he was, who touched all our hearts and inspired us in so many ways. And now, I only wish I could live to be half the man Boris was today. You changed my life and made me see the happiness was in front of me. Each caring hug and lo loving laugh, I can't believe it's in the past. Your smile lit up every heart, big or small, every part. Being your friend meant so much to me that since you've gone, I wish you could see how you've touched everyone in every way and how we wished you could all just stay. You're irreplaceable and one of a kind, and you had the most incredible mind. You will live on in each of us because when we needed someone, it was you that we trust. You'd wipe my tears when I'd cry and I'd turn to you and ask you why. You said everything happens for a reason and it's because of you, Boris, that I had something to believe in. Boris was always shining his light upon everybody. His smile made everyone smile, no matter how angry or sad they really were. And he really had a unique mind. I'd always wonder exactly what was going through his head. I'm just glad I've been lucky enough to grow up with him. I'll always cherish all my memories of him. It seems like not too long ago, we were running through the creek, letting our imagination guide us. One minute, we were soldiers, and the next, we were climbing mountains. Last Sunday at his vigil, I walked through the field and I said, Boris, if you can hear me, know that we all love you. Know that we'll always be thinking of you. And he just let it all out for about 10 minutes, so I was talking to him. Later that night when I was sleeping, I had a dream and he was there. He told me everything is all right and that we should just remember him. And as long as we remember him, he will always be there with us. I'd woken up with him on my mind. I was sad, but I had this uplifting feeling, knowing that he, now he is as safe as ever. What do I say about a boy that completed me, who made me fall in love each time I saw him, who couldn't be in a room for longer than a minute without making me laugh with one of his jokes or raps that didn't really make sense? <laughs> who I thought I would have by my side for the rest of my life, watch him grow old and change and still be my Boris. I tell him I love him. I miss him with all my heart. Not a day will go by that I won't wish he was still here. Boris, I'll never forget you or the memories you left us behind with. So dancing to Hotel California in the middle of the park and the countless nights you, j you joked away. I know you're up there with the other angels watching over us. I hope you found your peace, baby. I love you. If I could only use one word to describe Boris, it would be irreplaceable. He was one of a kind. His darker than the night eyes, his energetic personality and bouncy curly hair is a picture in my mind I will remember for the rest of my life. The way he would always make me laugh and the way he would say, rap, or sing the most random things is unforgettable. The time eight of us fit into Angelina's car that only fit five and we blared techno music while Boris lay in the back with his feet higher than his head for some reason, <laughs> singing, and while just being Boris. There are hundreds of memories that will stay with me until I too one day meet up with him. I will always love you, Boris. I will always miss you. Uh, well. 
when I first when I first came into the area when I first moved in, you know I was I was alone and I was scared. I didn't, I didn't have no friends or nothing, but. It's easy to see why why I was drawn to Boris, right? That's we're all here, we all love him. And it's not only him though, his parents they took me in too, both of them. And they just love me as a brother, as I loved him as a brother. And we're all here because we love him. And I just wanna let you two know you'll never be alone. For the thousand moments shared, breaths breathed, laughs laughed, a thousand tears are shed. For moments that could never be, for conversations unspoken, words never to be said, a thousand more fall. And for finality, cruel finality, unalterable, because there is no undo, we cry infinitely to fill the oceans a thousand times with our love of you. No tears can animate, but lest your essence be forgotten, let them fall. Live forever within us, for this we cry, Boris. Boris was my brother, as he was to many of us. A piece of me left with him. And I'll never forget his smile. And I'll never forget the way his parents treated me like his son. This brings our feelings towards everyone who knew Boris. No matter how much we complain, we still all love each other. We're always there for each other. And when one of us fall, we do our best to pick them up and brush them off, especially a vital part like Boris. And now this tight knot of society has lost an amazing man. He has fallen and we cannot pick him up. But crying and feeling sorry for ourselves and Boris is something that he wouldn't want us to do. Instead, we need to pick up everyone that has dropped to the ground. We need to dust them off and get them back in line. Although the hole that Boris leaves in our society will never fully heal, it's not a bad thing because we'll never let it fully close. We will, we will remember Boris forever and talk about him as if we were going out, out with us tonight. Although he's in a better place, he's not that far away. <laughs> 